the page background group. In this one, you can select features like watermarks, page colors, and borders. Especially for uh, confidential or privacy type documents, you may want to use a watermark. Essentially, it will uh, add something to the background which uh, will let the user know that this is uh, confidential or a draft or whatnot. You can use the page colors. They could be beneficial, especially if you're working on a creative type document and you want to make it more eye-catching. The borders are definitely helpful as they add a professional touch. Let's see some of these options in action next. We don't really per se have a confidential document, but let's assume that maybe this was a legal document that you were working on and you wanted to add uh, some of these options. First I will go ahead and just uh, save this document. I'm actually going to switch back to the portrait orientation first and then go ahead and save this document. So let's say that we wanted to insert a watermark. You would go to the page background group, uh, click on this drop down. And uh, notice that we have a host of options to choose from right out of the box. I am going to uh, pick confidential one as my option. It's, it's a little bit hard to see on the document so if I go to the office button and select print preview. By the way I have to apologize in the last video I kept saying file menu. This is actually the office button. It's one of those things from uh, habit of using that. But let's say I do a print preview on this, you'll notice that we have a confidential background essentially on these uh, documents now. So that was the watermark. Let's say I wanted to add a little bit of color. I can uh, select one of these and as I move around, you'll notice that uh, we are indeed getting a live preview of this in our document. I could pick this olive green which really uh, isn't my favorite but just to uh, get the point across we can uh, we can try different things. One thing I do like about this is that it did make the confidential text stand out in the background. And then finally you could use the page borders option in here. I have used these on occasion, especially on things like the resumes and whatnot. When I clicked on that, I got what looks like one of the older dialog boxes from prior versions of Microsoft Word. Here you can set up uh, page borders. You can also control uh, borders in a specific paragraph or element, and then also shading. For now, I'm just going to select page border and then possibly pick a dotted border that I am going to essentially go in a box format and that's what it will do. It will go ahead and add this on essentially all the margins and when I do a office print print preview this is what it looks like. So with a few clicks we were able to add some more uh, essentially layout options to our document. Let me go ahead and close this for now. If this is what uh, what you want for your target document, you could save this and print it. But for us, let's keep moving on. So the next group is the paragraph group. Uh, the page layout tab also lets you control indentation in your document using the uh, paragraph group. The indent uh, determines the distance of a paragraph from either the left or the right margin. I found a quotation in my paper for indentation and I will use maybe 0.5 inch indent from the left and right margin. Also the quote seems to be a little too close to the regular document text so I would like to add uh, 18 point spacing to the top and bottom of our code. I'm 
going to uh, just really, let's say, do Control Z, which is going to take us back to our old document that we were working with. So when I go uh, to page two, looks like I have a little quotation here that I would like to change. So like I mentioned, the first thing I need to do is add some indentation. You can do that under the uh, paragraph group. And here is the indent left and the indent right. I will go ahead and change both of these to 0 0.5. When I did that, it moved my code this way. When I do the next one, it's going to go ahead and move the text this way. So keep your eye on that. And I actually entered these. You can search.